So this was actually probably my favorite cover story thus far, mainly because I really enjoy the character of Port Gus D. Ace. Uh, very, very cool stuff, though. One Piece cover story number six, Ace's Great Blackbeard Search. This story opens somewhere on the Grand Line, in a place called Pasta Lake. We open to see a familiar face running out on his restaurant bill. It's none other than Luffy's older brother, Porkas D. Ace. As he is chased around town, he inquires as to any possible sightings of the man he is hunting down, which we know to be Blackbeard. After he mistakenly attacks a Blackbeard lookalike, the townsfolk run him out of town by throwing his ass into the river. Now we know that since he's eaten a devil fruit, he's obviously helpless in the water. After rushing down the river for a while, he is saved by a little girl who happens to run a milk farm with her family. Later on, Ace awakens from unconsciousness and is given some milk to drink. He meets the little girl named Mota. She asks Ace for a favor of delivering a letter in exchange for the help she has given him. He accepts and sails off to his destination, which is the 2nd Division Navy Base. After he beats up a Marine and then disguises himself, he heads in and helps himself to all the available food in the cafeteria. Yes, I mean all. <laughs> While scarfing down his grub, he overhears a Marine talking trash about his captain, which we know is, is the Great Whitebeard. Without even considering the consequences, he just punches the Marine <laughs> and starts a brawl in the middle of the cafeteria. So we have the feeling that that can't end well. <laughs> Nearby, a group of leading Marine officers attends a meeting where they are served extremely bitter coffee. A Marine scout ship, holding very important information, comes into port lit on fire. Now Ace, still in disguise, leaps into action and heads right into the flames to save all the Marines on board, as well as all the intel. Now, we all know that Ace will be fine because of his devil fruit power, but after he comes out, his clothes are all burnt off, and he is still engulfed in flames. He's found out and ultimately chased off by the, all the Marines that are there. Before he's able to get away, though, he delivers the message from Mota to the commanding officer. This message asks if anybody at the base would like to buy some of her delicious milk. The marine base accepts and helps rejuvenate the milk farm's business as well as give them something to make their coffee taste better. Ace departs with his newly acquired information on Blackbeard's whereabouts. On his little motorized raft with Whitebeard's flag flapping on the sails behind him, he stands ready and determined to capture his target. When will we see Ace again? So there you have it, brothers and sisters. That's Ace's cover story in a nutshell. Uh, certainly, I enjoy these, as I've mentioned before, and will continue to do them and put them together, uh, certainly as time permits. And uh, I do hope you enjoyed them as well. So my uh, chapter question, or in this case, my cover story arc question, would be for you, brothers and sisters, what did you think of this cover story uh, I would say up until now against uh, the other four or five that we have seen. Uh, how would you rate it? Would you think that it's one of your favorites? Uh, would it be one of your least favorites? Do you think it's relevant, irrelevant? Do you think they're stupid? Uh, certainly let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We will look forward to catching all of you in the next one, nation.